Alright, hi everybody, on Twitch and YouTube. Uh, today we're going to finish this this game that we've been playing for the past like two, three weeks. Nobody's on yet, uh, but we got a couple hours, so I'm betting someone shows up at some point. It's been like a week since I last played, so I'm really not sure what we were building. I don't think we had anything left to build, really. I feel like we had... We got everyone like fully upgraded. I think the last one we had to get was... I don't know who these people are. I think the last one we had to get up was Leaf and Toad. And we had to get him his Archangel's armor, which I believe he has. Oh, there was something about upgrading it, right? Uh, in the Foundry? Advanced Flight. Okay, so that's already coming out. Did we need anything else in the Foundry? Sorry if this is exactly what we were doing at the end of the last episode, which I believe it was. Um, but I don't, I don't remember. It's been a couple of weeks, so I'm just, just gonna check some stuff. Archangel armor, we have three Titan armor. I know both of our mechs are fully up. We have firestorms, all of them, because we only have that many places left. Yeah. And they all have the fucking super bullshit, right? The plasma cannons. One, two, three, four. Yeah. All right, so I guess we just kind of have to spin. It's going to be a very tactical, fighting game sort of uh, sort of day. Ooh, hyperwave research. Hyperwave relay is available for construction. Oh, okay. So we need to actually build that in the facility somewhere. Alloy cannon. Oh, that's the shotgun, but we don't have the shotgun guy. I don't think any of this stuff we actually need. <laughs> uh, phasing phenomena we've witnessed in the labs. We believe it should be possible to develop an armor kit mirroring these unusual properties. If, success bleh, if successful, anyone wearing this suit would be extremely difficult to detect. I don't think we need that, though. The EMP cannon. If we were to equip our interceptors with this technology... While also shielding them from the overall effect, this could greatly improve our odds of recovering the alien technology intact. Do we care? I don't think I care. I don't think I care about getting the alien technology back intact. I think, like, the, these ships are going to be good enough for everything. So... I guess this? I, I, like, I don't really need it, but... I don't need this. Because I don't have a, an assault. So I guess this. Alright, we need to go to facilities and build the thing that it just asked me to build. Hyperwave relay. Blah, 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 blah. Israelis, blah, blah. Okay, so it doesn't build into anything, so I'm going to put it over here. Out of the way. Okay, that'll be up in 14 days. Uh, we can never have any more satellites. Right? We have all of the satellites we can ever have, so we kind of just got to spin. Late plasma rifle's done. Okay. Uh. Oh, I don't have enough weapon fragments to research that now. That sucks, kind of. Um, I guess we can also research the EMP cannon, because maybe I need that at some point. I don't believe that I do, though. Fuck, I can't believe we run, ran out of weapon frags. Uh, improved pistols up. Nice. Uh, foundry, I don't have anything else for you to do, actually. That's all I had. I don't remember what improved pistol. Oh, we don't have any heavy floater storage. Heavy floaters in the, the fucking storage right now. Sorry, Russia. 90 bucks for that is fucking stupid cheap anyways, but... We don't have any. We're running out of resources. To be fair, though, we have pretty much everything fucking trained. Uh, EMP cannon available for manufacturer. Yeah, I mean, that's fine, but I don't think we need to use it. And fuck the shiv. I guess we just research ghost armor because we have it. It's the only thing that we can. Size very large, unidentified. Should expect heavy resistance. Okay. Gonna send out our spaceship. We have an alien spaceship too. Ain't afraid. God, that's really loud. I'm tabbing, so it's not doing that in my ears anymore. You can still see it. Here we go. All right. I have no idea what any of this stuff does.
Got him. Holy shit. Thank God I used that. That almost sucked. Alright, let's go. Uh, I think this is the setup that we want for everything. I don't believe we need to change anybody. I think everybody should be fully loaded out. He's got a plasma pistol. Yeah. Uh, hopefully his flight's a little bit better by now. But everyone's good, I think. This is the... The run us through the rest of the game squad. We're kind of all in. We might end up losing this game. Um, even though it looks like we're in really good position. Because we just have like so much invested in these guys. Pilot's just clicking all the buttons and switches during space combat. Dude, I just, like, I was like, aim sounds good. Let's get a couple early hits in. And then it hit me like three times in a row and I almost died. So then I just pushed dodge, not knowing what it did. And it worked. So, you know. All right, uh, so we don't give a shit about meld anymore. So I am going to go so fucking slow through everything. Um, because the last time we had a big fucking shit battle like this, I died. And it made me really sad. Does this door open? Not really, no. Okay, so wig wig, get up. Oh yeah, it does. Open door. Look in door. There is a fucking sectoid and a mectoid right there. Look at this asshole fucking mectoid. And by sectoid, I mean sectoid commander. Oh, God, does this mean Paul just shoots this asshole? Oh, wait, Paul can't see this for some reason. I forgot that Paul can never see anything under any circumstances. Uh, alien grenades do what? Five? But I could hit both. And what does he shoot for? Up to ten? I think you just shoot. You have full cover anyways. If he melees you, then you're just fucking dead. Um, I could just launch a proximity mine at him. No, I think I just fucking shoot this guy. Up to 11. Nope. Because Azurian can shoot twice or move and shoot or whatever, which is why I wanted that to happen. Chris M. Robinson. He has got his uh, stunner ball, but if he moves in, he's going to take a shot. So, I guess, Bergson, you stand here. Oh, 60%, Jesus. Maybe I should have opened with a shredder rocket from Bergson. What do his fire rockets do now? Six. That's guaranteed damage, right? Yeah. Cause friendly fire. Oh, what? I think Bergson gets to shoot twice anyways. I believe. 60%. There we go. No, Bergson doesn't get to shoot twice, does he? Alright, is there any you take your second shot? Got him. Okay, cool. So we're not totally fucked just yet. This sectoid commander is going to be a little bit of a pain in the ass to deal with, but it shouldn't be too bad. Let's go ahead and toggle flight. Uh, can we go anywhere cool? Can we come up here? Uh... We could go up there. I don't know if we can move anywhere from there. But why the fuck not? Just go up here into the damn sky, I guess. I don't know what I'm landing on up here. But okay. Oh. So I just wasted fuel there. Shit. Uh, alright. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing with that yet. I still don't understand how the Archangel armor works. I just got it because everyone's like, it's really good. Um, can I flashbang this motherfucker? No. Oh god, I really don't want to overwatch because I'm afraid that like he's going to MC someone and then I'm going to overwatch myself and that'll make me sad. <laughs> what does this do? No. Fuck it, 55%. That's not so bad. Christopher! Oh my god, he killed him. Nice. Chris on the fucking 12 crit. a boy. Best way to keep us safe is just to kill the enemy. Alright, we're not going to leave Paul up in the sky anymore. Paul, go back down on the floor. What the hell are you doing up there? Okay. Um, let's do... 
Can we have like Wigwig come up here? Ah, you can't make it that far. We'll get a Ergo. Okay. So we're gonna have to have Chris kinda lead the way a little bit. Canister sighted. Canister sighted. Okay. And nothing scary sighted, so let's have let's actually have Wig dash here. Because then you can probably make it next to me. And also, let's have Ergo dash there. Okay, and then Bergson could come up. We're just going to play super safe, just in case. Because like I said, if this squad dies, we pretty much lose. Where do I want Paul to be? I kind of want Paul to be up here. Because then I can probably see anything that goes on in here. But I'm afraid that by moving him here, I'm going to spawn something. Is there anyone else I can move there first? I can move Azrinian up. I could just dash Azrinian into the middle of fucking crazy town. Okay. Azrinian's going to go for a fucking yog into crazy town. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So I'm going to put Paul like right uh, here. Fuck, see? That's what I was afraid of spawning. Because now they get to move, and I don't have shit to do to stop them from just teeing off on Paul in half cover. Like, I can only overwatch from here. And then I'm fucking screwed. Heavy floaters. Well, I need those corpses. Paul might just fucking die, though. Here comes first shot. 12 damage. Jesus. Okay, he popped his fucking overwatch from Chris. Christopher, please. Nice. Good tag. Alright, so we're gonna have to have Ergo come in and heal, uh... Heal Paul, probably. But, for now, it's time for Paul to just go off. The one good thing about what just happened is that there's now a bunch of shit out in the open for Paul to just fucking destroy. Um, I think this is probably the biggest problem right now. And he's a monster at just killing mutons for free. 20 fucking 5! Um, I could disable one of these. What do, what do I just normally shoot out? Up to 10? That doesn't have any chance of killing. It's got a 50% crit though. So let's just take a shot at him. Normal shot. Not disable. Fuck it. Not enough. Okay. Probably should have just disabled. Because now he's going to get an overwatch shot. Oh, fuck. Ergo can't get to him this turn. Uh, Christopher also can't see him. Israelian also can't see him. Jesus. Israelian, what the fuck do you mean you can't see him from right here? Just lava grenade down there. If I just, like, plant this here, does it go off whenever he moves? Because that would be hilarious. And it does eight... Problem is, if he doesn't move, it doesn't do anything. Uh, Bergson can't get a shot. Alright, so no one can get a shot, so somebody has to just take a fucking shot from this guy. And I think it's going to be Azrinian. And I think Azrinian's going to do it by running down here like a fucking madman. No, he's going to run over here like a madman. Less chance to pop shit. Actually, Ergo could have taken that because he has lightning reflexes. I forgot that Ergo has that. Fuck. Nothing, nothing too bad happened. So then Azrinian's going to also try to kill this man. Got him. Nice. 12 crit. Out of boy. Cool. So that opens up our movement again. So now we can go... How can I get a shot on this asshole? I can't rock it, right? Holy shit, I can actually rock at this guy. Fucking A, do it. Won't even know what hit him. Or can Chris now shoot him? I think we might actually be able to keep Paul from taking any more shots. Oh, the fucking cover didn't blow up. What the hell? Alright, 
Christopher. Could have just killed it all by yourself. Should have believed in you. <coughs> Alright, Ergo. Get up there and get ready to start making Paul feel better. Uh, Bergson, I think it's your turn to go over here. Collect this meld, even though we don't really need it. We're here, might as well have it. Damn it. Meld collected. Wow, thanks, Berg. Uh, I'm actually impressed that you did that before I asked you to. Alright, healing six on Paul. Hey, quiet, yeah, qu quiet, you big baby. God, Ergo, you're fucking rude. And you popped Executioner on Paul with your heal, I guess. I don't know what that means. <coughs> Can these guys just, like, jump down this? Yeah, okay. Cool. I guess we're just gonna, like, fucking go for a little run. Boom! The elusive Yeti. Just gonna go set up by that door. I don't think there's anything else around here, that's the thing. But I guess I should just fucking go slow anyways. Let's push left. We're gonna probably reload with the journey in this turn. I don't think he can shoot again, actually. He could do, like, a grenade thing or whatever, but... I assume it'll be fine. Right. Uh, Bergson is going to try to come down this way, I think. So first, let's just walk over here. Just see if you see anything in that room real quick. Nope. Okay. Wigwig way in the back. If he was up closer, I could probably could have thrown a battle scanner in there and seen what was in that room. But instead, actually, I'm just gonna reload this guy too. I'm gonna take a turn here just to chill. <laughs> Alright, Overwatch and Overwatch, and we're just gonna chill. And then next turn, Bergson and the mechs will kick in this door. And hopefully, Paul will have a shot on it. I hear stomping. Probably a fucking mechtoid in there. So, Bergson, go take a look. Nothing. See over there, maybe? I would like to go to that square. Thank you. Oh, actually, there's a door back here, too, apparently. Oh, man, there's another room over there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's something over here. Yeah, I did. Because you told me when I heard it. Let's see. Not because I actually heard it. Engaging in Chet Boots. Can you not get up here with Chet Boots? Fuck, that makes me sad. I wanted you to go over there. Uh, but I guess you can go over there with Chet Boots, and that's pretty good. Chet Boots. Fuck is everything. Uh, where do we want to put Wig? I don't really want him to go down in here because I don't think he's gonna have. All right, fuck it, go up there. That's fine. Because I think this fight's gonna end up taking place like here. I'm guessing. I kind of wanted him to get up there, but it's fine. Chris, just chill. I don't need you pushing in yet. Uh, Ergo, I mean, you're gonna you're gonna start heading up, dude. What an inefficient way of getting there. <laughs> All right, that's fine. Um, and then Senberg. I think Senberg's gonna come over here and open this door. Just just see if if there's anything in there, you know. Uh, Overwatch. And I think Ezrinian is going to head over here. I'm, I'm going to have Ezrinian jet boot up next turn. <laughs> See what's like going on up there. And Paul, might be time to start flying soon, dude. How hype. Get an Overwatch in, baby. I hear monsters. Didn't see any monsters. Alright, Bergson, open the door. 
Anything in there? Can't see shit. Where the hell does this go? Well, this goes like way back over here, actually. Oh, shit. Alright, fuck this. I'm bringing Bergson back. We'll go deal with that shit later. Fuck that door. Alright, uh, first things first, like I said, I want Azurian to hop up. This, this dude has the hops. Does that just, like, teleport me up? Okay, so I don't think that Berserker can get to me. So I don't think he can go straight up like this. Paul, you can't fucking see. Is this real life? God damn it, Paul. Chris, you also can't see? Oh, you're just like standing behind a wall like an asshole. Okay. Oh, god damn it, Paul. Oh, you can just, like, float up here in the fucking sky. Is this real life? How about, like, right there? Still can't see. God, I don't... I don't even know, dude. This Archangel's armor is pretty bullshit. I don't know where this fucking Berserker one went to. So I don't want, like, Wigwig's squishy ass to move up too far. But I also don't want Christopher to just go get punched by a fucking super mech. Oh, there's, like, a portal thing up this one. Oh, there he is. Not a super mech, but a super muton berserker asshole. Maybe I could shoot him and he'll come around enough for uh, Paul to get a shot on. With his stupid plasma pistol. What's up, you dumb nerd? Don't yell at me. Yeah, yeah, yeah here we go. Leafy Toad from the sky with a pistol. Three damage on the pistol. We stepping up. Alright. Uh, Wigwig cannot have a shot from there. Ergo also cannot have a shot from there. Wigwig, can you like lob a grenade up here? Yeah. Sure. Cheers. Boom. Five fucking damage, Wigwig. And then Ergo's gonna flashbang him when he charges you. No, he's not. Ergo's just gonna shoot this asshole. For eight. Let's go, Ergo. Up to five. That's all I need. Nice. See you in hell, says Ergo. What a scumbag. Oh. Reactive sensors. That was a bad decision to shoot that mech for one. Should have shot him for a lot more, because he's gonna murder you. Fifteen. Good god. An unnecessary amount of damage. Typical Israelians. So now what happens if I disable flight? Oh, I can't. I have to keep moving. Oh. Oh, I see. So does that mean I'm just like flying forever now? I don't, I don't know what's happening. I'm just like way up here in the fucking sky. Okay, uh, I guess I just like move my friends up now, right? My slow little Humey friends. Go, Wigwig. Womp. Oh, that is totally a teleporter thing. Maybe only humans can use it. I could put Paul like up here, though. That's a pretty good sniper spot for him. Cooling my jets. Cooling my jets. What the fuck? <laughs> God. The worst puns. Uh, Bergson, we need you to rejoin the party. Because Paul is going to be livid when he sees how much we've split the party. I'm sure Paul will watch this VOD. Positive of it. Uh, Christopher... Actually, you know what, Chris? Just chill, dude. Fuck that meld. We don't need that. Let's just all hang out for a minute, yeah? 
Overwatch Advanced Fire Control. Great. Now Bergson, begin the push. Found a door. What's on this side? Another door. Let's go left door. Because Paul's over here. That's pretty much the only reason. I don't think we can get that door open this turn. I think we just need to start moving people up to the door. Alright, so let's just yog up to the door. Bam. This fucking spaceship is huge. Your spaceship's way bigger than my spaceship. This is bullshit. Where'd they get this giant fucking spaceship? Space? Probably? It's unbalanced. I don't get to go to space. I actually don't know if that's true. Do I get to go to space before this game is over? Maybe. Our flashman guy is like real far back, but we're gonna have Bergson push up anyways, because he doesn't give a shit. Bergson's just gonna open this door and see what's on the other side. And if it's bad things, it's bad things. That's what it is, dude. Alright, from up here with the pistol overwatch, Paul sees all. Until we go through this door, then we have to move Paul again. There is something in there. Hey, you hear anything? No. I don't hear anything. There are no things that I hear. Alright, Roger. Tracking. What? This looks like the hallway that Cryptic died in once upon a time. Which I take to mean, holy shit, run in as fast as we can. Wow, there's nothing in here. Fuck. Alright, listen, Leafing Toad. I know that I keep having to ask you to move. That's probably really annoying since you're a sniper, but... Just fucking do it, okay? Ergo, you could go heal that guy. That's the thing that you could do. Maybe I'll put you up here so that next turn you can heal him. Uh, let's have Chris run up with his Rinians. They're going to lead the way because they're big dumb mechs. He's actually going to stand right in the door. That way Wigwig can't get through. And thereby provide cover. I think there's actually a fucking uh, feat you can take with your mech to make them provide cover like that. Look, now no one can go through. <laughs> fucking Chris. Jesus. This fucking Chris guy. I'm an idiot. I just remembered. Oh, there's Meld over there. Sounds delicious. I love Meld. Alright, uh, first things first, Zrinian, go put yourself in danger. That's affirmative. That is affirmative. Thank you, Zrinian. Whoa, Cyberdisc. That might be a little bit more danger than I'm comfortable with. That's another Cyberdisc, too. And that one's in Overwatch now. I don't really want to fucking launch at these stupid drones. Can I throw a grenade at you, dumb nerds? Yeah. Bonk. Get out of here, little fuckers. Okay, so Chris, we need you to move. Because there's a cyber disc in there that's gonna want to eat our heads. So, uh, leafing toad. Not really a good place for you again, dude. I don't know. Just not getting good places to put our leafing toad, I don't think. This Archangel's armor is just not doing what I expected it to do. I don't know what I expected it to do, but uh, everyone made it sound like it was the greatest thing since sliced bread. And I like sliced bread. Not sure I like this Archangel's armor, though. It seems pretty meh a lot of the time. Alright, so here's the thing. Cyberdisks have grenades, but... I'm also concealed, so figure if I'm invisible, how can they possibly see me, huh? Also, I'm going to throw a smoke grenade on all these guys. <coughs> so if he doesn't throw a grenade and he tries to shoot at them, they'll be okay. 
But I don't think he's even going to get a chance to shoot him. I think we're okay here. Yeah. Alright, we got to have someone open the door. And I believe that someone is Wigwig. Wigwig the Openator. Ooh, normal floaters. Not actually heavy floaters. Strange. There's some meld over there. Do you have a big enough explosion radius with this grenade? Not even close. Okay. Uh, 91%? You know what? I'm actually going to let you just have that. Quality. Uh, Christopher... I know there's a cyber disc out here somewhere. He, I think he's like up here. Just waiting to overwatch. One of my friends in the head. And I think that friend this time is going to be Azrinian's. I think Azrinian's going to keep heading for high ground. <laughs> now he's got some damn good. What? Okay. I'll, be, I'll bear that in mind. Oddly specific doctor. God, I can't believe I don't have vision on that cyber disc. Fuck, where is it? Alright, Chris. Time to just get shot. Probably. I don't I don't know for sure. There is a fucking super monster. And we lost sight on it somehow. And there is the cyber disc, but it's not just ready to dick you, it turns out. Uh, am I close enough to stun it? No. Die, okay. Oh god, nine. Okay. Those Rinians? Those are neither of the things that I want you to shoot. Neither of those things are the one thing I want you to shoot, rather. Come on. It just doesn't go quite fucking far enough. Ugh. Damn it. Okay. Uh, fuck. Do we need to throw another smoke up here? Is that what we need to do? Uh, Alright, so I think Leafing Toad needs to do the thing, right? He needs to just kind of, like, get the fuck up here. Um, I th I'd really like him to be up there, but I can't do that super reasonably this turn. I can get him up there, though. Revealed. Oh, because he's dashing? God, that's so weird to me. Okay. Uh, maybe we do just throw another smoke, like right over here, and then like have Bergson come up and hit this corner. Maybe that's just the thing that we do. I think mean, this is fine. This feels safe and nice. Um, I mean, you're not going to get a better shot, so... There you go. 88% for the floater. Might as well clear it out. Three damage. Roulette. It hurts. Alright. Uh, so let's go ahead and jog up here and toss another smoke grenade from Ergo. Because these smoke grenades are like insane. Um, he's got like super long range on the smoke and he's also got like it's like plus 20 to defense or some stupid shit like that. So if that big guy comes out and shoots, Chris might not just get annihilated. Oh no. There's the big guy. Alright, so this dude's a problem. We'd really like Leafington to be out and about right now so that he could disabling shot. I'm gonna get hyperbeamed. Ugh! Jesus. Reactive sensors, nice. Gotta get a big hit here, dude. Fuck, you missed! Oh, as we we needed that hit. The thing is, these things take half damage. If you, uh, if you haven't been paying attention. So they take a while to hit. Paul's really good against them because he can disable them. Uh, but like, they just they just don't really die. All right, so here we go, in the smoke. Yeah, that smoke is OP and reactive sensors. Chris, kind of need this one. Didn't get it though. Five damage, ugh, God. It's not horrible, but Jesus, it's kind of horrible. Okay, so can Leafing Toad get there? Yes. 
and maybe try to like finish a bitch. Oh, what? Oh shit, that guy had an overwatch? How the fuck did that happen? That's really unfortunate. Uh, what do you, I can't see what you're shooting at. That's the floater. That's the fat guy. Uh, I guess just finish off the floater, because up to five isn't going to kill the big guy. And I don't really want you to draw his ire. I, want, I really wanted you to finish off this thing for me. Okay. Um... I think it's just going to start unloading into that guy. I want Chris to start unloading into that guy too. But that means I, I need to finish this uh, cyber disc in some way. Maybe I send Chris. No, I kind of want Chris to shoot twice. Person, do you have a shot at the cyber disc? No. Wigwig, do you have a shot at the cyber disc? 80%? solid. Okay. So now we're just going to start teeing off on big guy. Um, ergo, I don't really know where I want you yet. Actually, I do know where I want you. I lied. Um, I'm going to have Christopher move here. I believe that's still in smoke. It is. Great. And then he's going to shoot once. For four, that would have been eight normally. And then Trinian's gonna shoot. He doesn't need to move. For one, that's an Azrinian shot if I've ever seen one. Here comes another one. And a miss. Azrinian the choke artist. What is happening? Negative damage. That is pretty much what you just did. You pretty much did negative damage. All right, Bergson, you're going to take half cover in the smoke on a 40% lob shot. Guys, he's he's just right there. Just hit him. Hit him with things. Also, my dog is just outside barking today. Probably after this mission. Going to have to go stop him from doing that. Please don't shoot Paul. Okay. You shot at his and didn't hit him. That makes me happy, too. I think he's just going to shoot twice. Maybe second shot at Paul. Second shot's coming at Paul. Paul, do the juke! You got half, dude, and real high ground. Oh, wait, no, what? He didn't shoot. Wait, what, what, what the fuck? Um, okay, so Paul might disabling shot him this turn. Christopher does not have any ammo. Okay, who does have ammo? Wigwig has ammo. Is he in half? No, he's in full. Okay. 60%? It's not horrible. Let's get a shot in. See what happens. Jesus. We might have to smoke up again. Urko? Can't shoot right now because we might need you to smoke. Uh, is Renin has to reload? Okay, so Paul is definitely going to disable. Paul is going to disabling shot this man. Uh, okay. Sure. I guess that was disabling him. 70% crit chance. We could use a crit. Seven. That's a big hit. 14 damage normally. Not bad. All right. Um, so Zrinian has to just stand here like an asshole and reload. Ergo, you are going to be throwing another of these lovely smoke grenades. And we're not going to move. This is our last smoke grenade in the mission, but I don't want this guy to fucking kill us, so. And this room is kind of hella awkward. Seven crit, nice. That's big. Uh, Alright, we're reloading. He's disabled, so I don't have to run up and stun him. Uh, I don't know if he has a melee attack, though, so. What? He has mortars? Jesus! Je Jesus! Okay. Apparently, he has fucking mortars. So if I run up and punch him, it's only going to do six. So I need somebody else to hit him still. Ergo, are you that man? Yeah, you're that man. Okay. 
Christopher, go fight that big thing to death. Ah, oh, we didn't get the cutscene. Racist. I think it explodes too. Damn it. Alright, we get it though. Ba 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 ba. Easy peasy. Probably no even not even any injuries that are substantial. I'm really disappointed we didn't get the cutscene there. Makes me kinda sad, mad, bad, mad, sad. Do 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 Paul got wounded for two days, it's fine. God, Ezrini has so many more kills than everyone else. Ninety-eight, almost to a hundred kills. Fusion Lance and Guided Fusion launch Launcher. I think the Fusion Lance is the final uh plane upgrade weapon thing. I've got a bunch of stuff to sell. And the guided fusion launcher is the fucking rocket launcher that we're doing like right now, as soon as this research project is done. Actually we might just do it right the fuck now. <laughs> I don't give a shit about that. I want this. Yeah, fuck ghost armor. I don't even care. Um was there anything else that we even really cared about doing? I guess we can sell this stuff. Because it's just there. Why not? We have so much shit that we can sell, though. Even just here, I see this. Not that, but this. Like $420 again. Fusion quote, we have to research stuff. Alright. Got so many dollars. <laughs> the whole world is uh, relatively safe and happy with us, and yeah, I guess we're just going to keep spinning until we get uh, Guided Fusion Launcher and try to get those for us. Advanced Flight. Oh, it's time. That's really good news. Advanced Repair. Don't know what that did, but we got it. Right, hyperwave Relay is complete. See all, know all. Alright, don't know what that did. Want my guide and fusion launcher. Damn it, I knew something was gonna happen. Before we get our rockets. Wait, what did you do? Shut it down. Do not touch anything. This could be what we've been waiting for. Oh my god, they put a purple UFO in her thing. Intercept the Overseer UFO. Assault the crashed Overseer UFO. Objective, final preparations. Is this the end of the game? Is this the last mission? I'm just gonna play it. Fuck, we didn't buy any more of the things. No! Shit, I forgot to buy more of the spaceship things. And this is like an overseer. I don't know what that means. Let's just do this. Got him. Easy fucking peasy, actually. Alright, uh, hyperwave relay. Objective final preparations. Crew size 10. Okay, it's not so bad. Species detected. Ethereal. So one of the little crystal dudes. A drone. I don't care about that. Muton Elite. I believe those are the super mutons. A sectopod, one of the big guys, and a heavy floater. Okay. It's fine. Every, our whole squad's here, so. I don't give a shit about any of those two things. <clears throat> I don't know if this is the last. I don't think this is the last mission in the game. <laughs> we have enough time to do this, right? Yeah, we've got plenty of time. It's only been like 42 minutes, 43 minutes in the game. We'll do this one. Alright, so locate, sweep the area, locate and secure meld, avoid damage to craft, blah blah blah. Okay. 
normal stuff. Try not to blow everything up, but what we do is blow shit up. I don't expect that heavy of resistance, actually. I know what kind of resistance I'm expecting. Okay, uh, Christopher, you are the first one to move up. I actually should have probably looked around the map a little bit. I just assumed that we should be going left. Uh, I don't actually know, though, because that doesn't look like the end of the map. So I guess we'll just go left for now. Uh, send the other mech up. Because there's no decent cover to get into in half move for anyone else. Nice. Alien objects, I love those. Um, okay, Wigwig, there is full cover over there if you go for a dash. Thank God, Green Slash is still playing Grand Theft Auto V. Man, I wish I played more of that game. Like, I'm not done necessarily forever, but I haven't played in a while. And I really enjoy. All right, so we found the floaters. Not really the biggest deal. We don't have anything in too stupid, like, he's in a dumb position now. Uh, oh my god, I thought Leafing Toad would have a shot. That's super stupid. Why does nobody have a shot? Is this real? If, what if I turn my flight thing on? Is that going to do it? Oh, it doesn't do anything. I mean, I could just, like, go up, right? I think that's kind of the idea. That I just, like, go into this guy. I don't know what this does. I don't know if this is the correct way to do this. I can't shoot him from here now. But if when I have my gun, I think that's the correct way to do it. Uh, all right, so first smoke's coming out because we got to save our boys. A little earlier than I wanted it to. By a little, I mean a lot earlier. But I don't want Bergson getting fucking flanked by a floater. Floaters have plasma weapons, and that shit hurt. Uh, so I think we're going to send Chris up a little bit, even though this might seem a little bit over aggressive. I don't really think these guys are going to be too much of an issue now. Um, and then I'm going to send Azrinian into the smoke. I'm not going to put either one of them on overwatch, it's fine. Probably could have launched a proximity mine like here. But uh, I think it's fine. Here he comes. Leaving Toad, reaction shot. Prepared for damage. Damn, Paul. What a monster floating in the sky. Shot Bergson anyways, though, for four. Damn, Berg. In cover. You should have pretty decent defense down there. Did it, like, puke after it shot Berg? Oh my god, what the fuck? These floaters are coming off the hinges. Alright. So we're off to a real bad start, but we have the, the AoE heal from Christopher that we can still use. I don't think we need to use it just yet, but it's a thing that we can use if we do end up needing to. And I say I don't think we need to use it because I believe that Paul, yeah, can just kill both of these things. Probably should have headshot, but yeah, definitely should have headshot. I don't know what the fuck I was just doing. Now that I haven't, though, I guess I can headshot that one. 80% crit. Nah, fuck it, we'll headshot the same one. Fuck that guy. Angel of Death. Shooting things from the sky. Alright, so Zrinian, you should be able to get a return shot on this guy again, right? Uh, can you just walk up and punch him, maybe? No, you're not going to be able to from here, because you're dumb. But you can, like, run up here and shoot him, though. Make it pretty much impossible to miss. Hey, buddy. Fuck you. Holy shit, he's alive. Jesus. I mean, he's a floater, he's not really alive, but... Whatever. Is he alive? I don't know if floaters are living or not. They might just be mechanical. I could be being a racist, though. No! Ferguson, you needed to hit that one. That was... That was the important one. Wait, wait, can you get a flank from here? No, of course not. You can't fucking shoot over things. You can grenade over things, though. Throw that shit. Oh boy. Boom. Fuck that guy. Alright. Christopher. It's time to move up. Not that far. I was really thinking about going that far, and then I was like, nah, that's dumb. So I didn't. 
Alright. We didn't play with like any psionics this game. It is a thing. I haven't seen anyone complain about it yet though. Maybe next time we'll play with some psionics. This squad just ended up being really good and like fucking none of them be ended up being uh special. Psionic guys. Ended up just being fucking normal humans with big guns that shoot things. And we ended up ha we we took two mechs early. We made that decision. Which I'm still pretty happy with, considering one of my mechs has almost 100 kills. And has been here since the beginning, and we've only actually lost one mech. Uh, which made me really sad when it happened, but... Like now, it's not that big of a deal. Um, maybe Ergo just like comes up and heals this guy. Oh, fuck, I really don't want to burn a heal. I think I'm being greedy, but I don't, I don't want to burn a heal. I mean, they heal for like fucking six. That's the thing. And Bergson's only down four. Having said, I, I still have the big heal. Nah, fuck it. He doesn't need it. He's fine. He's a heavy. He will be fine. Uh, I think it's time to turn flight off, Paul. And just go for a little jog. Touchdown? That was not a fucking touchdown, Paul. No oh, shit about football. I think it's almost time for Paul to be invisible again. And then we're just going to have Bergson walk up, because he doesn't give a shit. Uh, and Israni and, and Chris, you guys can both be on Overwatch, because we don't need to be super danger right now. Be a little brave. Ooh, things over there. Okay. Your mom detected, Chris. Um, oh, here they come. Running into us. I hate when that happens. Fucking super mutants. Same shit that killed Cryptic. Oh! Christopher for 11. Not quite enough. But a, a good fucking shot. I believe that's Max for him right now. Oh, the meld's actually behind us over there. Gross. Uh, I would like Paul to shoot if he can. He can. 84%. Toggle flight. <laughs> Does that help? 86%? Yeah, helps by 2%. Perfect. Paul shoot the muton. Oh, Paul didn't kill a muton. I think that's the first time he's ever hit him. Oh, wait, hold on, time out. 96%. Yeah, he did. I lied. Okay. I was going to say Paul did actually manage to not kill a muton. I think that might have been the first time that's ever happened. Uh, but then he just fucking did it, so. <laughs> okay. So, we still don't really give a shit about Meld. Because we don't need any more, basically, ever. Um, Bergson. That's actually full cover. Who's up there? Oh, hey, hey, hey. Here's the shit. Uh, Alright, let's move Chris. Or not Chris, but is Renee up? Like right there. I don't know where from there, but... Wow, what a hop. <laughs> A completely unnecessary amount of animation for that. Alright, we're gonna have to dash back. And then... God, you can't get in full. I guess you just stay here and in full on Overwatch. Half cover, wig wig, dash. Got it. Moving. That's my boy. Uh, fuck it, Chris. What? I don't know where the hell anything is. What is that? That looks weird. Like this? Oh, it's like stuff coming off of the ship, I guess. That's fucking weird. I hear a sectopod. So, it makes me not want to move very much. Because we're going to need a lot of shots against that thing. Maybe we can have... Well, we could assume other things if we wanted to. Don't tell me what I can and can't assume, you fuck. Okay, I think I'm gonna send the mechs up this way, through that door. I think the plan here is I'm gonna send the Humies through this door and the mechs through the other door. And then we're gonna have a two-sided attack. 
Paul thinks that you should always have everyone standing right next to each other all the time, but I don't think that's necessarily true. I think coming in at different angles is good. Mix it up a little bit. So we're going to have Ergo head up to catch up with him. Probably put him like right here. Uh, maybe not right there. Maybe like right here. Kind of wanted Paul to be in this spot, but that's okay. Paul, turn your flight off. The mom on deck. Um, all right. Just go for a run, Paul. No one's anywhere fucking near you. You're fine. All right. As I think the mechs are going to sit back here on Overwatch because they don't need to move up any more than this. Uh, wig, wig. I would like you to actually move in because I want Bergson to be in that spot. So where can I send you that's still safe? I guess like up one? Oh god, please, game angle. I guess like right here. And then I can head send Bergson at this wall where you just were. So the meld's back there. So I assume there's also bad guys over there. Oh shit, what the fuck? Sectopod. No, Chris, don't shoot the drone! Shoot the sectopod! God damn it. Fucking stupid Max. I just really didn't even hit his. Jesus Christ. These fucking trolls. Reported. And now you can't see them. I fucking bet. I fucking bet you're reconfiguring your targeting matrix, you piece of shit. I would be too if I sucked that bad. Alright, Ergo, go pop this reaction shot. Damn it, it didn't work. Alright, fine, Ergo, just take that shit out. Thank you. So, the big guy's on, rea on Overwatch right now. Maybe Bergson will take it? I hope not. God, that would suck. Um... <sighs> Put Paul up in the sky. I bet you Paul can see him if we just go up in the sky. The thing is, I don't know if we actually need to do that. I think Paul might just be able to see him anyways. What did I just do? Oh, I sent him up in the sky. Shit, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, Alright, we can come this way and oh, just open this door, just out of curiosity anything in here that we need to worry about. No. Okay. Great. So, I believe the boys to be back in town. Um, so I'm going to launch a fucking proximity mine over there. Boink. Yeah. Fuck you guys. How's that sound? Uh, Christopher, you have two of these, right? You could just move over here and fucking throw some yeah, do that. Just throw some spunk. Healing spunk. Ho! Bunk. Nice. Top everyone up. And then just chill. And then just chill. Ba -da -da. God, that proximity mine button is annoying. He walked in the sect. Er, the sect pod walked into it. Holy shit. What a mine. And then we unloaded on him. Parks and hit him too. Holy shit. That proximity mine was insane. Christopher. Oh, his has got the moves like Jagger, turns out. <laughs> Alright. Is I need you to hit this, and I need you to hit it hard. How can you possibly miss right through that man? How did you do that? What did you hit? Like your particle cannon particled through that fucking person. Um, actually, I think it might be better for you to launch a grenade and just knock all of this cover away. No joke. I think that's actually what I want you to do. And then I, w I think I want Leafing Toad to just tee off on him, right? Yep. Maybe just kill. Okay. I think we might just be able to finish him off. Let's see, can anyone else get a nice shot here? Bergson, how is it even possible that you can't shoot that man? Oh no, you took a reaction shot! How did he have Overwatch? Oh fuck. Nice. It's alright though, Bergson's got the moves. 
He's got that big Titan armor. It lets him uh, jiggle out of the way a lot. It's 40%. Okay, you killed the rest of his cover. Wig wig, 60% from the other side. Ah, Jesus, boys. Oh, Christopher, can you punch this man? You could maybe stun this man. If we needed that to happen. I don't think we do, though. Ergo, 77%. Okay, Ergo will finish it. Ergo. Ergo? Hello? Ergo Mixlobin? Oh, now I can't see him because I'm not flying in the fucking air anymore? I bet. I fucking bet. Alright, Chris, fuck it, just kill him, I don't care. We're just gonna get blown up on again, Chris. Chris just likes to move into position for those things to explode on him. That's what, that's Chris's jam. He is about that. They're so fun to fight, though, because they get cool animations. But I, I just haven't got to fight them the last couple times. It's kind of bullshit, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but on the bright side, I have the double super awesome thing. It doesn't make any sense. The double uh, restorative mist thing. I get two of those from Christopher. Anything? No. Okay, that was a risky move, but there's nothing here, so it's okay. Um, Ergo, you don't really need to heal Chris. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. I'm just salty. Um, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to move Paul first. Because Paul doesn't really have anywhere great to be right now, does he? Fuck. This? Is this full? It's half. Fuck you. Alright, we'll put him here. <coughs> and then we're going to move Ergo up to... God, how many more turns do we have? Three? Got to kind of be aggressive. Actually, we don't really need to be because I don't, I don't need this shit. Whatever. Ergo's just gonna go stand up on a hill. He does what he wants. God, Bergson dodged that hit. Okay, so like from here, there wasn't much left, right? There was the crystal guy. Um, and then there is. What else did it say? I think that's pretty much it, right? Because we've already seen the heavy floaters, we've seen the drones, we've seen the uh, fucking sectopods, that's what they're called. They're not called fucking sectopods, they're just called sectopods, but swearing is a thing that I do. Um, God, what the hell was I talking about? Oh, yeah, there was, there's not very many other enemies, I think, that are significant here. So we can, I think we can move a bit faster. I don't know if this crystal guy, if there's like an upgraded version of the crystal guy or not. Uh, so I'm still a little nervous. But, uh, kind of just rushing up for this meld a little bit right now. Plus, I, I haven't seen anything else. Okay, so they're in this room. Can we clear a way into that room? Not really. Okay. So let's have Ergo move up first, because we need him to be... Like, that's full cover anyways, so just go for it. And then next turn, you can grab that. And now let's try to push... So we know there's nothing there. So if we move Wigwig here and then open this door, maybe we'll see it, whatever it is. Okay. What are you? What the fuck is that? I, I, don't, I don't know what that is. I've never seen one of those before. And we don't have Ergo's thing to make everything safe and lovely. Oh, shit. Okay, um, so what's the f best way to make this happen? I, like, we kind of need Wigwig to get the fuck out of here, I think, actually. Like, Wigwig, you need to just go, dude. Just fucking go. Uh, and then, like, I kind of want to tear that wall off the hinges. 
holy fuck, dude, I don't know what this thing's going to do. It's a problem. How can I defend against it if I don't even know what the fuck it does? So here's the two trains of thought that I'm having. One train of thought says I can, if I take this part of this wall out with like Ezranian's grenade, tear that all down, I can have one, two, maybe three shots on this thing and start trying to murder it. Now the problem with this idea here is that I don't know if Chris actually has enough ammo to shoot. I think he does. And it will put Ezranian into a weird place. Oh god, but I think he's just going to come over here and fuck Ergo if I don't. And I don't know if he has AoE, so I kind of don't want to just like run in like an asshole. And I also don't want to be just in range of the super mutant to shoot me too. I guess like right here is the best sort of. I don't know what this thing does. Ethereal reflected attack. Oh my god, he shot me with my fucking brain shot. Not brain shot, but fucking shot. It shot me in the brain. I can't even articulate how upset I am about that. Holy shit. It also didn't shoot me in the brain. But fuck, dude, what do I do here? I try again? He can't possibly do that multiple times per round, can he? I could come up here, be safe, and reload. I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to let Isrinian... Whatever's about to happen to Isrinian, I'm just going to let it happen. Okay. There's not really a lot for me to do, I don't think. I think I'm going to try to put Paul in a decent position. If I put Paul on the roof, does he have anything? No. Okay. If I put Paul out here probably can see something but he's got like no cover but he's also fucking forever away that's fine can you see from there paul thank you jesus christ thank god he can see from there i was about to be so upset um i don't know what to do with berg like see this was where my original thought was like that sort of thing without chris being there and like just damage weak weak but now i'm not sure that's very smart I can't really position out here well either because of the way that the cover gate system in this game works. I could come over here, but I don't really think that helps. I think maybe we go here and overwatch. I can't quite see him, but if he comes out here, maybe I'll get a shot. All right, let's see what this thing can do. He is mind controlling Ergo. Okay, okay, that's okay. Mutant's coming out. He's going to take a shot at Zernian. Zernian's got the jukes, though. Zernian's jukes suck. But he's going to shoot back. Maybe miss and hit the big guy. Okay, so we need to kill MC Boy right now. But Leafington's about to tee off. So we should be okay. Does that guy get to shoot twice? No. That looks like a rocket if I've ever seen one. Are you shooting the wall? He shot through the wall. Okay, sure. All right, so first things first, I think Bergson needs to shred a rocket. Is this real life? I can't put that where I want it to go. I guess that's close enough. God, that feels danger. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What kind of shot do you have on this big guy? Is this the big guy? I guess that's the big guy. 75% crit, okay. Oh, he got fucking sniped in one hit again. God, Paul. It's not fucking scary if you just one hit everything. Take a muton out with you, I guess. Yeah, I know you're going to need to reload soon. All right, that's fine, because Chris is going to run in here and just punch this asshole right in the face. Whoa, what's that? Yeah. All right, I'm doing that. I'm gonna retrieve it for further study right after I punch this man in the fucking face. Oh, I didn't kill him. I should have looked at how much health he had, I guess. Uh, is there any? You don't have enough ammo. 
Can you run in and punch him too? Oh god, no. Uh, <laughs> shit, I might have fucked you up, Chris. That might be my bad. Hold on, I think I got this. Let's just launch a little grenade. Right there. Got him. Didn't need to blow up that nav computer. It's fine. And hell is coming with me. All right, that was a good on. That was a good operation. Flawlessly executed, boys. So the big guys can mind control and apparently reflect at least one attack per round, maybe, or every some amount of time. Got a cutscene. from a cloaked ship and guarded by the most powerful being we've ever encountered. What do you think it is? Toilet. An object of immense power. Nah, it's toilet. Think of all we could do if we unlocked its secrets. We could use the toilet. A dangerous sentiment, Doctor. Look, now it's a port john Bang. Alright, quality. I think we did it. I think. Oh no, we're not done with the cutscene. Never mind. Jesus. I'm picking something up. Another cloaked ship? No, sir. It's big. What do you mean it's big? That's like the size of Brazil. That's not big. That's like Texas. Tell me that was a coincidence. They're really mad we stole their toilet. I wish I could, sir. That seismic event originated directly beneath our new contact. Nothing we have would even make a dent in that thing. Nope. If you two have any more bright ideas, now's the time. We send the mechs up with the rocket boots, and they punch the wall with their kinetic fists until it goes through. Think of them like Iron Man 1 and 2. Uh, not the movies. But like as code names, Iron Man One, Iron Man Two. <clears throat> Research the ethereal device. Okay, I will do that. An ethereal autopsy. Oh. Okay, I can sell those things. One of those was damaged right at the end. <laughs> My B. My fucking B. Um. All right. Let's go ahead and do that. Do I have enough things to do this other thing? Flutter corpses. No. Fine. Fucking rude. Okay. Um, what do we? What? What are you hyped for? We're hyped for that. That's what we're hyped for. Three days from in three days, we're gonna get the big rockets, and they're gonna be great. We'll be back. We're gonna take a little break. See you in a minute. Twitch and YouTube. Uh, thanks for hanging out. See you tomorrow.